One of the benefits of the new Motor Plan 30 and Motor Plan 66 vocabularies in TD Snap is the introduction of vocabulary filtering. This is a way to quickly hide and show vocabulary for an activity, routine, if you're instructing or modeling some new vocabulary and want to limit the, the search set and the possibility of errors temporarily. Vocabulary filtering is a very easy way to, to do this. The vocabulary filter is uh, the little filter icon we see at the top of the title bar here. So I'm going to begin by tapping that. And the first thing I need to do is to turn the vocabulary filter on. Once I do, uh, a couple tools uh, become available to me around the screen. I'm going to tap on the editing uh, list icon here on the right and manage lists. I'm actually going to create a new list here. I'll choose new empty list, and then I'm going to give this a, a, a name that uh, makes sense and will uh, be readily identifiable. New list is not a very good name. So <laughs> Um, in this case, it's going to be making play choices. And this is a list that you're only going to see the, the name of. So in this case, I didn't capitalize it. I'm not so worried about that. I'm going to choose done. Um, so I've given my new list a name, and I've activated it here by the check mark being indicated. I'm going to hit done at the bottom. And it takes me to the previous menu, and it sees here, this is my active list for the new list I made, making play choices. So at the top of the screen here, I'm just going to use my keyboard to type in the words that I'd like to appear. So um, using a comma, I can separate uh, words that I want in this list. So I'm going to start with the pronoun I, comma, want would be my second word, uh, that would be my third word. I might want don't in the mix. Uh, maybe something else. So again, I'm just using a comma between each of these individual words. I might want a no in there and a yes so I can respond to a question or a query or confirm something for my communication partner. I might want to comment that I like something and I like that or I do not like that. Or maybe I want it again. So I've got a couple words in here that I can use with any number of, of play items. Uh, using it and that lets me keep it generic, so we can switch out the toys and games pretty readily and still make use of this list. So I'm happy with those that I have there. I'm going to add those to my list, and it's going to show me uh, my current list. So don't is not in the vocabulary at this point. I need to go in and add that. Um, right now, for the sake of time, I'm just going to add do and not. And we can leave these there. It's not going to do any harm. That's just a visual reminder that once I start teaching contractions, um, that's not currently in there. So I, I, I can address that later. But I'll just leave it be. It won't do any harm being there. I'm going to hit done now because I'm done editing that list. And it's still in the vocabulary filter mode here. All right. I just got out of my list editing. But the filter's on, so now I'm done. I want to use it. Once I do this, it's going to hide everything except those words that I plugged into the top. So I can now make a sentence like, I want that. Or I may get to something, something else. Not that. So this gives me the ability to make lots of comments, requests, do some back and forth with my play partner, and not have to worry about all these other words that aren't essential to the language and the task that we're, we're looking to engage in, in in the short term. 
Now, once the game's done and we want access to those full words, we come back up to the vocabulary filter tool, clicking on that, and we can simply turn this off by checking the toggle and hitting done. And now we're back to the full vocabulary. The nice thing with the motor plan is once we've learned and Hi. used them, um, those words are in the same places, so we can get the experience and develop that motor plan with the hidden words out of the way, but then it, it still applies when full vocabulary is back. Now, you saw there were multiple lists in there, so if the game's done, but we were going to do another activity, I can come into my vocabulary builder. If I turn it on, it's going to load whatever was last used. That was a making play choices vocabulary filter. I want to do something different than that. So I'm going to go back into my list editing tool here on the right, and I'm going to manage lists. And you'll see there are a whole number of other lists currently loaded into this user. So perhaps we're going to read a book together. So I click on that. It's checked. I will choose done. It shows me uh, words that aren't in there in this particular word list, as well as ones that are. So I'm just going to keep this as it is. But we do see there are some phrases in here that, that aren't going to be available. And hit done. So it just verifying reading a book activity is what we're going to use now. Our vocabulary filter is on, and then choose done. And now it's hidden uh, everything except the reading of the book words that we want to use. So stop. We're going to stop uh, reading that. Or I can I can read that myself. So maybe I want to read again. it again. Specific words to that task. Some questions we can ask about the book. Once we're done with the story, then we can go into the vocab filter tool, disable it, and choose done, and we're back to the full vocabulary.